Here is the board he was attempting to cut improperly, with the cutout area marked. Typically, this type of cut would be safely made with a saber or bandsaw. This is the DeWalt table saw he was attempting to use. Note the blade guard has been removed. He places the narrow board on the saw table and tips it down under the blade. He then pushes it forward to make this cut. When suddenly, the board is yanked forward and up, pulling his fingers into the blade. Here it is again, from his point of view. The blade emerges. He pushes the wood along with his hand. It jumps forward. And his fingers, in attempt to grab the board, are pulled into the blade. Again, now from the side or plan view, we make the wood translucent to follow it over the blade. He pushes the board forward with his hand. The board catches, leaps forward, and pulls his fingers into the blade. In this still frame view, you can see the position of his fingers wrapped around the board as they were cut by the blade. These hand and wood positions were directed by the trial team experts and the exhibit was employed in their testimony.